to get out of that is this response. God so loved the world that he gave his only son, Jesus Christ, to save us from our sins, to be our advocate in heaven, and to bring us to eternal life. Let us confess our sins in penitence and faith, firmly resolve to keep God's commandments, and to live in love and peace with all. So we pray. Almighty God, our Heavenly Father, we have sinned against you and against our neighbour in thought and word and deed, through negligence, through weakness, through our own deliberate fault. We are truly sorry and repent of all our sins. For the sake of your Son, Jesus Christ, who died for us, forgive us all that is past, and grant that we may serve you in newness of life, to the glory of your name. Amen. Almighty God, who forgives all who truly repent, have mercy upon you, pardon and deliver you from all your sins, confirm and strengthen you in all things, and keep you in life eternal, through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Amen. We stand to proclaim God's word. Glory to God in the highest, and peace to his people on earth. Lord God, heavenly King, Almighty God and Father. We worship you, we give you thanks, we praise you for your glory. Lord Jesus Christ, only Son of the Father, Lord God, Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world, have mercy on us. You are seated at the right hand of the Father. Receive our prayer. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit. In the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray to the Lord. That he will pour out his blessing that is mercy upon each one of us. Almighty and everlasting God, you are always more ready to hear than we to pray, and to give more than either we desire or deserve. Pour down upon us the abundance of your mercy. Forgiving us those things of which our conscience is afraid, and giving us those good things which we are not worthy to us, but through the merits and mediation of Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Would you please be seated for the Lord. reading from the book of the prophet Jeremiah. O oh Lord, you know, remember me and visit me, and bring down retribution for me on my persecutors. In your forbearance, do not take me away. Know that on your account I suffer insult. Your words were found, and I ate them, and your words became joy too, and the delight of my heart. For I am called by your name, O Lord, God of hosts. I did not see it in the company of merrymakers, nor did I rejoice under the weight of your hand, I sat alone. For you have filled me with indignation. Why is my pain increasing, my wound incurable, refusing to be healed? Truly, you are to me like a deceitful brook, like waters that fail. 
Therefore, thus says the Lord, if you turn back, I will take you back, and you shall stand before me. If you want to utter what is precious and not what is worthless, you shall serve as my mouth. It is they who will turn to you, not you who will turn to them. And I will make you to this people a fortified wall of bronze. They will fight against you, but they shall not prevail over you, for I am with you to save you and deliver you, says the Lord. I will deliver you out of the hand of the wicked and redeem you from the grasp of the ruthless. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. A reading from the letter of Paul to the Romans. Let love be genuine, hate what is evil, hold fast to what is good. Love one another with mutual affection, outdo one another in showing honour. Do not lag in zeal, be ardent in spirit, serve the Lord. Rejoice in hope, be patient in suffering, persevere in prayer. Contribute to the needs of the saints. Extend hospitality to strangers. Bless those who persecute you. Bless and do not curse them. Rejoice with those who rejoice. Weep with those who weep. Live in harmony with one another. Do not be haughty, but associate with the lowly. Do not claim to be wiser than you are. Do not repay anyone evil for evil, but take thought for what is noble in the sight of all. If it is possible, so far as it depends on you, live peaceably with all. Beloved, never avenge yourselves, but leave room for the wrath of God, for it is written, Vengeance is mine, I will repay, says the Lord. No, if your enemies are hungry, feed them. If they are thirsty, give them something to drink. For by doing this, you will keep burning coals on their heads. Do not be overcome by evil, but overcome evil with good. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Or what will they do in return for that? 
for the Son of Man is to come with his angels in the glory of his Father. And then he will repay everyone for what has been done. Truly, I tell you, there are some standing here who will not taste death before they see the Son of Man coming in his kingdom. This is the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Christ. Divine disclosure. 
and has been able to see himself in the context of the whole of creation. And then I turn to the New Testament, to the suffering of our Lord Jesus Christ on the cross, the anguish of the Father. Here is another young man in his early thirties, enduring the pain of the cross. Arms are now stretched to embrace the world. All seems as if it is defeat, and especially so for his mother and friends who looked on. Yet, our faith speaks of hope as we move on from Good Friday to Easter Day and the added as Christ is risen, death shall not be the end. We each read behind us the memory of those things achieved and who says for him his greatest achievements in life is his wife and his children. But there are also the many people in our lives that touch the good. And we pray that all shall not be lost. That leads me on to the feeling of the multitude. And Jesus says to the disciples, gather up that which is left, so that nothing be lost. My belief in God is in one who desires that nothing is lost. That he desires to gather all back to you. We are an Easter people, and Alleluia is our song. Thus we are Saint Augustine, whose life we celebrated on Friday. We raise ourselves up from the despair as we endeavour to follow the good example of those who have gone before, to strive to make the world a better place for our journey through it. Yes. We will be angry, we will be confused, lonely, and despair as we walk the way of the cross. But through it all, we are, I believe, held in the hollow of God's palm, the same palm that bears the wounds of the cross and sets you unloved. That genuine love, which holds fast to what is good and rejects what is evil. St. Paul writes, rejoice in hope, be patient in suffering, and persevere in prayer. Our prayer this day must be that Andrew Lyon and his family and friends, and many others in similar circumstances, may have the courage and the strength to endure what will be, knowing that they are surrounded by love, and that God in Christ on the cross has walked this pathway before us. For St. Paul says, rejoice with those who rejoice, and weep with those who weep. Today we weep because we love. And at the heart of the Christian family must be that love which passes all understanding. We certainly, as part of Andrew's family, here in this part of the world, feel the depth of what it means to belong to the Christian family worldwide. A family bound together by love. Live peaceably again with all. Let love be genuine. Overcome evil with good. Amen. Amen. Let us pray. Lord Jesus, we need you most when the world is darkest. You are our light and our hope. We commend to you, Andrew and Anne and their girls, Stuart and Susan, Pierre and Luke, and all who know them and love them. We also commend the parents and family of that baby Patrick who died yesterday. In a world that fixes so often on the bright and the cheery and the ephemeral, we need you, Lord, most when the going gets tough, when things are hard to explain. 
when we love but feel in some sense at a loss. Hold us, Lord, to the joy of your Son and his light in the world, his restoring light and love. That even on the cross, his arms were wide, pointing towards the hope of Easter. So in our prayers this morning, Let's remember all those who struggle in darknesses of so many kinds. That the light of Christ will bring them hope. And that we can share love and fellowship with all. Lord Jesus, you shocked your disciples by making them face up to your cross and their own. Give to your church the courage to emulate your sacrificial love. We remember the church throughout the world, especially our brothers and sisters who are being persecuted for the faith, those who are still martyred for bearing witness to the saving love of Jesus Christ, and all those who journey with us on this life of faith who are going through their dark valleys, their moments of suffering. Lord, may we find our true life and hope in you. Lord, in your mercy. Hear our prayer. Lord Jesus, you spoke to suffering at the hands of elders and community leaders. We pray for all who lead the world's communities, that they may have a proper awareness of the awesome responsibility they hold. We pray that the world's leaders may guide their people with the qualities of love and forgiveness, of equality and equity, of mercy and of justice, and above all, of love. And we pray for those who suffer today at the hands of the world's bad leaders, the violent and the warring, the corrupt and the lying, the grafting and the selfish. Lord, we work for and look for the coming of your kingdom where justice and mercy will flow like rivers, may we never confuse the kingdoms of this world with the eternal kingdom to which you call us. Lord, in your mercy. Yeah. Lord Jesus, St. Peter struggled to accept the danger and purpose of your actions. We all know the struggles of Peter. We rail against what seems to be so unfair and so random. But to enter the kingdom, we must pass through that veil of death. Help us to understand it. Help us not to be afraid. Help us to hold on to the resurrection promise of your son. Be with all who are anxious today for loved ones. Be with all who are anxious for those they know to be in grave danger. Be with all who seek to bring assistance and love and help. And give us the Lord grace to overcome evil where we find it, with good and with love. Lord, in your mercy. Hear our prayer. Lord Jesus, you are with us and beside us as we stand staring into the darknesses of our lives. Preserve us all in our sufferings. 
Grant compassion to those who weep and those who stand with them as they weep. We remember especially Andrew this morning and Anne and their entire family and friends. We hold out for your loving mercy those who have lost, those who fear illness, those who are watching, those they love go through illness and a great death. And among those who ask for our prayers, we continue to pray for David Kirkland, Pamela Dean, Ruth Clare, James Rock, Gwen Wallace, Sarah, Amelia, Sarah Jane, Andrew, Nan, Kelly Sanderson, Christine Rayner, Annalon Smith, Peter, Sheila Harrison, Janet Boldero, Tom Boyle, Elizabeth Abia Cousy, Matthew Wise, Catherine Sophia, and our colleague Jane Holmes, priest. Lord, in your mercy. Yeah. Lord Jesus, you alone hold open the door to eternity. Strengthen all who stand on its threshold in faith and fear, and those who stand with them. Among the recently departed, we pray for the souls of Philip Lyons, Eve Ricks, Baby Patrick, and Jean Rao. And in our year's mind, we remember the souls of Diana, Princess of Wales, Dennis Maunders, Jean Ross, Di Wells, Sydney Eagle, Thora Shirley, Kath Crisp, Gwen Scary, Kenneth Lord Heath, Joe Matt, Hayley Neal, and Nick Ford. We rejoice, Lord, in your hope. Rest eternal grant unto them. And their life bless the child. Lord, as we look for you to bring light, to shine into the darkness, help us to hold so fast to your promises of light and love and hope that we may be beacons to others who need you. Merciful Father, I accept these prayers for the sake of your Son, our Saviour Jesus Christ. Amen. Please. We are the body of Christ in one spirit who are all baptized into one body. Let us then pursue all that makes for peace and builds up our common. The peace of the Lord be always with you. And with us.
life and health in your Son, Jesus Christ, we find forgiveness for all that is past. Grant that in this Eucharist today we may find healing of all our sins. We ask this in the name of Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Amen. Let us pray. The Lord is here. His Spirit is here. Lift up your heart. We lift them to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right to give thanks and praise. Blessed are you, Lord God, our light and our salvation. To you be glory and praise for that. From the beginning you have created all things, and all your works echo the silent music of your praise. In the fullness of time you made us in your image, the crown of all creation. You give us bread and speech, the good angels and dark angels, and all the powers of heaven. You may find a voice to proclaim your praise. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of power and might, heaven and earth are full of your glory. There is in the hearts. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. There is in the hearts. How wonderful the work of your hands, O Lord. As a mother tenderly gathers her children, you embrace the people as well. And when they turn to wear your belt, your love remains steadfast. From them we raise up Jesus our Savior, born of Mary, to be the living bread in whom all our hearts are satisfied. He offered his life for sinners, and with a love stronger than death, he opened wide his arms on the cross. On the night before he died, he came to supper with his disciples. And taking bread, he gave you thanks. He broke it and gave it to them, saying, Take and eat. This is my body, which is given for you. Do this in remembrance of me. At the end of supper, Taking the cup of wine, he gave you thanks and said, Drink this oil. This is my blood of the new covenant, which is shed for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this as often as you drink it, in remembrance of me. Great is the mystery of God. Christ has died, Christ is risen, Christ will come again. Father, we plead with confidence his sacrifice made once for all upon the cross. We remember his dying and rising in glory, and we rejoice that he intercedes for us at your right hand. Pour out your Holy Spirit as we bring before you these gifts of your creation. May they be for us the body and blood of your dear Son. As we eat and drink these holy things in your presence, form us in the likeness of Christ, and build us into a living temple to your glory. Remember, Lord, your church in every land. Reveal her unity, guard her faith, and preserve her in peace, especially we pray for your church in peace. Bring us at the last with the Blessed Virgin Mary, St. Mary Magdalene, St. George, St. James the Great, St. Augustine, and all the saints. To the vision of that eternal splendor for which you have created us, through Jesus Christ our Lord, by whom and with whom and in whom, with all who stand before you in earth and heaven, we worship you, Father Almighty, in songs of everlasting praise. Blessing and honor and glory and power be yours forever and ever. Amen. Trusting in the promises of God, let us pray as our Saviour has taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen.
We break this bread, share in the body of Christ. Though we are many, we are one body, because we all share in one bread. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world, Lamb of God. Jesus is the Lamb of God who takes away the sin of the world. Blessed are those who are called to his Son. Lord, I am not worthy to receive you, but only say the word, and I shall be with you. We do not presume but to come to this your table, blessed Lord, trusting in our own righteousness, that in your manifold and great blessings, we are not worthy so much as to gather up the dance of the Lord to but you are the same Lord, whose nature is always happiness. Grant us, therefore, gracious Lord, so to eat the flesh of your dear Son, Jesus Christ, and to drink his blood, that in our sinful bodies may be made clean by his body, and our souls washed with his most precious blood, and that we may have a more dwelling in him, and he in us. Amen. The body of Christ, speak to your father.
Let us pray. The Lord will give healing for your flesh and refreshment for your body. God of all mercy, in this Eucharist you have set aside our sins and given us your healing. Grant that we who are made holy in Christ may bring that healing to this broken world. In the name of Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Amen. We pray to God. Almighty God, we thank you for feeding us with the body and blood of your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him we offer you our souls and bodies to be a living sacrifice. Send us out the power of your spirit to live and work to your praise and glory. Amen. The peace of God which passes all understanding, keep your hearts and minds in the knowledge and love of God and of his Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. 
and the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be among you, remain with you and those whom you love, this day and always. Amen. Amen. Go in peace to love and serve the Lord, in, in the name, name of Christ. Christ.